The Mamluks were a military caste of slaves who ruled Egypt for centuries. And even when the Ottoman Empire took control of Egypt in the 16th century, they kept their positions of power. But power in the region changed forever when Napoleon invaded Egypt, hoping to challenge British trade and rule in India. He crushed the Mamluks at the Battle of the Pyramids, forcing them to flee south. But the British took over Egypt in 1801, but they in turn left in 1803, creating a power vacuum. So Husrev Pasha, who led a few thousand Ottoman troops in support of Britain, was put in control by the Sultan. But many Mamluks had joined the French forces, some fled with the British, and those that remained still struggled for power and independence, and seized Minya in central Egypt. Husrev Pasha, however, could not march south to meet them, because he could not pay his Bashi bazooks. These were irregular forces who largely came from Albania, Kurdistan and the Caucasus, so Husrev tried to disband them and only pay his regular Turkish forces. But the Bashi Bazouk surrounded the house of the finance minister, so Husrev retaliated by bombarding their positions and sent troops to crush them the next day. But this failed and the Bashi Bazouks under Tahir Pasha gained access to the citadel, and in retaliation they bombarded Husrev's palace back, causing chaos in the city. Husrev then fled when the palace was surrounded, and Tahir Pasha took control, but the same financial problems existed, and he just refused to pay the Turkish troops instead. So the Turkish troops rebelled this time, and Tahir Pasha was killed, leaving Muhammad Ali to take control of the Albanian forces. And as Muhammad Ali fought the Turks, he concluded an alliance with Ibrahim Bey, the leader of the Mamluks. Together they forced the Turkish troops out of Cairo and Damietta, and Ibrahim Bey was made governor, but Muhammad Ali had real power. But in the summer of 1803, the Ottomans sent a new governor, Trablusu Ali Pasha, and he landed in Alexandria, took nearby towns like Rosetta, and set up an opposing government there. Muhammad Ali could not advance on Alexandria as his troops demanded pay, and Trablusu flooded the dikes around the city to defend it. To break the deadlock, the Turks tried to divide the Albanians and the Mamluks by offering annual pensions to the Mamluks if they lay down their arms. Many accepted, so Trablusu advanced on Cairo, but Muhammad Ali still managed to put together a large force and march out to meet them, forcing Trablusu to surrender. Trablusu was then exiled, but he was killed by the men who escorted him into Syria. Muhammad Ali's Mamluk allies were now led by al Bardisi, but in 1804, another Mamluk leader who had left with the British, named Muhammad Bey al-Afi, returned. This divided the Mamluks, and Al-Alfi left his forces in Giza as he travelled to Cairo. So Muhammad Ali used this opportunity to attack the leaderless Mamluks in Giza, and harass them as they retreated into the desert. But given that a lot of his Mamluks had left him, Al-Bardisi was in a weakened position, and he raised taxes to pay his soldiers, sparking protests. So Muhammad Ali, looking to take full power and undermine any potential Mamluk threat in the future, used this to his advantage, and promised to make concessions and keep public order. So with the public behind the Albanians, they attacked the houses of the Mamluk leaders in March 1804, and Muhammad Ali offered the title of governor to the Ottoman mayor of Alexandria, Hershad Pasha. But al bardisis men raided the countryside in the south and cut off supplies coming north along the Nile. Plus, Al-Alfi regrouped with his new allies and began to advance on the capital. But even though Cairo was in chaos and poorly supplied, Muhammad Ali managed to break the encirclement. However, as he pushed the Mamluks into southern Egypt, Hershid Pasha brought cavalry units from Syria in order to undermine Muhammad Ali. But the population, led by Islamic scholars, protested against Hershid's high taxes and tyranny, and the Syrian cavalry decided to support Muhammad Ali. So in May 1805, Hershid retreated to the citadel and bombarded the city. So with the public behind him, Muhammad Ali besieged Hershid within the citadel. Hershid called on Al-Alfi and other Mamluks for help, but they were stopped before reaching Cairo. So seeing Hershid had lost control, the Ottomans ordered him to stand down, and they recognised Muhammad Ali as the new governor of Egypt. But he still needed to restore order and defeat the Mamluk leaders. 